Of course. Oh my God, can I have a hug? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You want to come in my van sure, and well, talk to me? Sure. Come on in, hon. So, Sean. Yes. I really am interested in people. Somebody yeah. asked me, like, what, what's a life hack for you? Mm -hmm. And my answer to that was meeting strangers. Wow. Like, I've always been that kind of person who talks to somebody in the grocery line, like, Mm -hmm. Oh, you're buying those pomegranates. What are you going to do with that? And, you know, I'm sure half the people yeah. are like, okay, weirdo, stop talking to me. You know, and but then sometimes people talk and they connect, and I feel yeah. like everybody's just walking around missing each other all the time. Yeah. So I kind of wanted to create this space. Do you have a, a life hack? Like A life hack? I'm, I'm very much into just law of attraction and just being really, you know, focusing on what I want and, okay. and, and forgetting about the things I don't want and just really trying to bring that into my life. So. That's that's my life hack. It's that's a, a serious life hack. Yeah, that's like focusing on what you want and not what you don't want. Okay, that actually that brings me to my wheel. Will you play oh. the game with me? Okay, I'll Will you spin play the wheel, wheel game. I'm a little nervous, okay, so spin, spin the wheel and then when it whatever you land on, we'll set the timer for three minutes and we'll just talk about that. Okay, okay, okay. okay so spin away. All right, here we go. He's spinning the here wheel. We I, I want like music for the wheel spinning. Dun 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 dun. Health. Okay. So health can be, oh, there it is. Okay. So health can be anything. Yes. Uh, what what comes to your here? What comes to your mind? I'm setting the timer. What comes to your mind with health? Uh, oof, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, three years ago, I was actually 60 pounds heavier, and I really worked my butt off to lose the weight and to get healthier and to eat better. So okay, people are want gonna want to know yeah. how. Everyone is gonna <laughs> want to know how. How did you lose 60 pounds? What I'll say is a stop and start. Okay. So you might start eating healthy one week and then go back to eating junk again and then go back and you, it's like, you, but you always make steps forward, but be prepared to maybe fall back a little bit and eat that ice cream and the whole pint <laughs> and then go back and just keep going back and forth. But eventually you will reach your goal. And once you look and you see how things are changing and how you're feeling better, that keeps you moving and moving, but it is not easy. I never tell anybody that it was easy. It took a year and almost two years to like really really see a big difference wow because you look great thank you i appreciate did it did you have to face some sort of emotional um struggle or like habits like mm. like because i'm thinking about for a lot of people who might be in that situation yeah. you know like you're in that situation for a reason like either yeah. your habits of eating or something you're repressing or mm -hmm. whatever did yeah. you was there an arc to figuring out yourself a little more i think realizing that i didn't want to ever see myself in pictures uh. ever and then one time i had to and i said that's what i look like and that's what everybody else is seeing and most people would say oh you didn't look bad you didn't look bad but for me i knew that wasn't my best self and so I went on a journey to try to figure all that stuff out and and just really discipline myself and realize it's not just about right now, it's about the future. I would love to be 90 years old and still kicking a football around if I can. You know, I don't want to be 90 and having someone have to take care of me. And it's not necessary, you know. Wow. And you can still have your sweets and enjoy them from time to time, but it can't be every day, all day, you know throwing crap in your mouth. And it's so was work. exercise a big part of it too? Or exercise was a huge part it was of both. it. What kind of exercise did you end up doing? I just started going to the gym. They opened up a gym next to me. I actually prayed for them to open up a gym really close to my house that I could afford. And then all of a sudden- And they I did? So oh, the mail. Yes, it was great. Okay. And then I just said, I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And I, I haven't stopped in three years. It's been three years exactly, um, in December. Wow. So yeah, you just keep going. And sometimes you don't wanna go. Sometimes you really don't wanna go. But once you put your foot in the door, you're like, I'm here, I might as well do something. Oh my God, okay, yeah. so the guy that owned my CrossFit gym, which mm -hmm. is called Horsepower, mm -hmm. and I remember saying to him, I've had frozen shoulder, oh, wow. which is like where your shoulder locks up, it's horribly painful. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've been depressed, I've been, just haven't done anything, mm -hmm. and I just, I don't even, I'm so weak, I'm so out of shape, yeah. like I don't feel like I'm ever gonna be able to start, like really at the bottom. Yeah. And I remember he said to me, just get yourself in the door and we'll take it from there. So sometimes I would play this game, like I'm not gonna work out, I'm just gonna walk just gonna in, walk in I'm just gonna say hi to a couple people, maybe yeah. drink my coffee, <laughs> and then, but I'm not working out. Exactly. And then you're right, you get in the door 
and then something comes over you and you're like okay maybe I can walk on the treadmill and then that turns into well maybe I can run a little bit on the treadmill right yeah and it's like this crazy upswing instead of the downward spiral you know you go the other way um I struggled for the first year or so with the comparing yourself to other people mm -hmm. and I had to really click in and realize if someone looks like that they've been here longer than I have they've had more experience and one day maybe I'll get there but to compare now would just make me not want to come or to put myself down even more so I said I'm not gonna do that anymore but oh, that my, took like a year and a half to finally to, get to have that light bulb go yeah that, yeah that's a light bulb that comes I I almost want, I want to cry like yeah. because I feel like these are big issues uh, I mean not even with exercise and health but like comparing ourselves to others it's huge. and I would say like I always had these guy friends that would play golf mm -hmm. and they would get pissed at their shot and they would, and then they would throw their clubs and yeah. whatever. And I used to say to them, dude, you don't deserve to throw your clubs. Like, unless you're <laughs> Tiger Woods, who's like practiced for like 10,000 million hours, exactly. he could throw his club. <laughs> like if he has a bad shot, he, he doesn't, yeah. but he could yeah. because he deserves to expect that he should have had a brilliant effortless shot. Exactly. But if you don't deserve to expect that it should be easy, yeah, because you've been doing it for a long time, yeah. then how can you get mad at yourself for it's, not being able to do of, it? It's a waste of energy. Yeah, yeah it I, really I, is. I learned to let that go. So. When I started at CrossFit, I was like doing six pound wall balls, which was so much less than everybody else was doing 14 or 20 pound. Yeah. And there I am with my little green ball <laughs> that like screams, she's only lifting six pounds. Yeah. But I was like, okay, this is what I can do, you know? And so I did that. And then a couple years later, like you said, if you're willing to put in the work consistently, yeah. then I suddenly was doing that 14 pound ball. It and feels great. It does feel great. It feels really great. It feels great. Yeah. Then you have to keep doing it. Or, yeah, and that's or, the thing. You don't get to keep it. You don't, <laughs> you don't get, get to, to keep like, your muscles arrive once you get it. And then, like, just quit. You have to actually. Exactly. I have a trainer friend that she says, I'm like, do I, am I ever not sore? Like, am I ever not going to be sore? That's how and it she's is. like, not really. No, no. Not, again, it's kind of about your expectations. You mm -hmm. should expect that it's not necessarily going to feel good. Mm -hmm. It's not, you're, you know, it's never going to be yeah. easy. Um, but that's how you get where you want to go. Uh, oh my God. I think great. that's great that you shared that. Thank you. Thank Can I you. just ask you quickly, was, yes. there, was there a diet thing? Like, was there more real food, more vegetables? or Definitely more fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. less junk food, mm -hmm. and just really clean, you know, chicken breasts and, and, and fish, a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. Even red meat too, just plain, you know, not, you know, soaked in a bunch of grease and stuff like that. But just changing my eating habits and chips and cookies and stuff that had to had wait to, to certain not I had to go completely but just had but, to wait till I was splurging on giving myself a treat right, but a right. lot of that stuff was keeping me really fast food which now I can't even stand but yeah. I used to be on it <laughs> I am so impressed with how you have this like beautiful like that I can't get over the thing you said about not comparing yourself to yeah. other people like I really feel like people have a hard time with that. Did, did, and you just arrived, how did you arrive I've, at that? I heard someone say one time, comparison is your death trap. And when I heard that, another light bulb went off. And I thought, oh, that's it, that's it. All this comparison is, is, is killing me. Yeah. And, and you feel it inside of you when, you're, when it's happening because you know you shouldn't be doing that. It's paralyzing. You know that we are completely different people, so why would you even begin the process of comparing yourself to another person? But it's what we all do. We all do it. And it usually leads us to thoughts of less than. We're less than. Exactly. exactly. We don't have as much. We're not as good. We're not as pretty. We're not as whatever. And then you just live in that I'm not as place yeah. instead of what I can be, but I am this and I am that. And what that. I am, yes, yeah. yes. And it's really being excited strengths. about what you are. What, if I'm not that, then what am I? Because I, I have to be alive just to be here, alive. I have to be, Oh my yeah. gosh, Sean, you're so yeah. beautiful. Thank you so, so much. I'm so glad you shared so great all to meet this. You. Thank oh you so my much. God, thank you so <laughs> all much. Wow. All right. I feel like, I have to say, I felt like I was kind of having an iffy morning. Like it wasn't so great. Thank you. I feel like you just gave me some really positive thoughts. Thank you so much. All right. Good luck to you. Nice to meet you too. Take care. Bye.